friends this is sunil sharma over here from speed maths welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to learn how to solve the rubik's revenge well what exactly is rubik's revenge this cube over here is called as rubik's revenge it's a 4 by 4 rubik's cube in my last video we learned how to make 3 by 3 rubik's cube and in today's video we are going to learn how to make 4 by 4 rubik's cube solving this 4 by 4 rubik's cube is just amazing believe me to master Rubik's Revenge, we need to master 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So if you have not done so far, I would request you to pause the video and go through my previous videos on 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. The links are posted in the description and then go ahead with this video. So without any further ado, let's begin. So guys, welcome back to part 1 of this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to understand the difference between 4 by 4 Rubik's Revenge and 3 by 3 original Rubik's Cube. Now, first of all, observe here we have a fixed centerpiece. Here, we don't have a fixed centerpiece. All the pieces are movable. That is the biggest difference between 4x4 Rubik's Revenge and 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Now, more or less, solving of 4x4 Rubik's Revenge is similar to 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Now, these four pieces in the center, we are going to consider this as a center. Now, these four pieces over here, we are going to make this a centerpiece, right? These two edge pieces, we are going to combine to make as one edge piece and if we consider this as center and we consider this as uh, one edge piece so this is second and third then this the solving of this rubik's revenge is exactly similar to solving of three by three rubik's cube so what you need to understand is yellow is always opposite to white okay blue is always opposite to green and red is always opposite to orange so i'll make first i'll make first white centerpiece over here then opposite to it, I'll make yellow. I'll keep blue here. And I know that the right of blue is always red. So I'm going to make red over here, orange over here, and green over here. Okay, I'll repeat again. White, yellow, blue, green, red, orange. Okay, you can start with any face to make white centerpiece. Let me say, let me say start with this face over here. I need to locate white pieces in this second and third row so let's find out where exactly it is so if you see here we have you know two pieces over here let me get this piece over here so if i rotate this like this this will get over here now you need to bring it in the same line like this so i'm just going to rotate like this right and this I'll take it away and I'll bring this back so I have located three now I need to locate one more let's find out where it is oh here it is so this piece has to come here so once you have an L over here get this corner piece exactly aligned with this corner piece so it is in the first row so I'll get this corner piece aligned exactly first row first row so the corner of L this is the corner piece of L so this corner piece has to match with this corner piece this is the first row so this is in the first row this position same position now bring it like this so we have made a line like this take it away and bring this back look at this so now we have made a white centerpiece over here we know that opposite to white is yellow so i'm going to make a yellow x this is white exactly opposite i'm going to make yellow so out of that i have three piece over here so let me take it over here and first you know take it away because here i've moved this white centerpiece let me bring it back so i've got exactly opposite two pieces over here now i need to get this piece on this side so let me take this over here take it away bring it back so we have formed a l see white four and we have an l now i need to locate one more yellow piece okay it's over here as i said the corner piece of l the position has to match with this position so you can either either rotate like this and get it over here or you can rotate this and get it in the first row choice is yours okay so now so once the position of the corner of l and this piece matches just rotate it like this take it away and bring it back so we have made 
yellow centerpiece exactly opposite to white okay now I'm going to make blue I'm going to make blue over here this position oh, and red over here to the right of blue and orange over here to the left of blue you can start with any face I'm going to start with this face over here so I need to get this piece over here so let me get it over here well up till now I have made only white and yellow so rotating like this will not spoil any other thing now I need to look for more well I have it over here uh, get this on this side first let me make this in the same line first we need to align it in the same line once you have a line and aligned it just rotate it like this take it away bring it back you have formed an L now I need to search for one more piece oh it's over here so align this with this corner piece so let me align it like this right exactly at the same position rotate it take it away and bring it back check it out so I have white yellow blue and to the right of blue is red so I'm going to make red over here so now red so one is already here let me find other ones okay so we already have two pieces over here so let me get it on this side so let me take this away and I'll get it here so just turn it I've got it so move it away and then put it back okay I need to get this piece somehow aligned so let me take first this piece over here so turn it and get it back so here it is now I need to get this aligned with the corner over here so L corner so L corner is here and it is here so let me turn it like this take it away bring it back so check it out we have white yellow blue red and opposite to red is orange and already three pieces are made so I just need this one to be here so once I take this automatically this green will come over here so this has to match with the L corner so let me bring the L corner on this side so this is the L corner matches with this so let me take it on this side take it away and get it back I guess we have made all the corners over here let us see white yellow blue in front to the right we have red to the left we have orange and back side we have green so we have made all the centers so guys once you made the center pieces in the next video I'm going to teach you how to uh, orient the edge pieces